Okay, so we are on our um, the last part of our video just now, or our video series of getting Arc Linux installed and set up. Um, we've already gone through preparation, getting our hard drives set up, getting our partitions set up, installing the the um, the OS, getting it configured, getting it to boot, and now we have finally booted in, and we are going to install the. Um, display manager so that we have an interface to use and then we'll be ready we'll be done we'll be yay happy so um yeah let's go ahead and log in here to our little shitty walk Gloria Sigro uh, my password all right we're logged in first thing we're gonna do would check IP link usually after a fresh install you want to check this okay now uh, you're gonna get these two things that pop up LO, you can ignore that, that's loopback, it's always going to be there, status is always going to be unknown, just ignore it. Um, if you have a Wi-Fi uh, adapter, it'll show up in here, it usually starts with like a W, so and it's usually a shorter name, but um, I can't show you that right now because I don't have a Wi-Fi card in my desktop computer. Again, when I make my little Wi-Fi video, I will post that up as well in regards to getting it configured. Uh, for now... We're going to use ENP5S0 and we're going to get it up and running and make sure that it always runs on start. Okay, so we're going to do sudo systemctl enable dhcpcd at ENP5S0, which is our device, dot service. Boom. Wait, nope, oh, wrong password. SC. I almost just shouted out my password. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, there we go. We got our sim link created. Now we're going to reboot. Sudo reboot. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, there it is. Okay. And roll, we'll log in again. We are logged in. Let's check IP link, make sure it's up. ENP 5S0, do do do, stay, state up, mode default, hooray. Now let's ping C3 www.google.com. We get a ping, we're good, we're online. It's going to do that every time that we log on. So, internet's done. Next thing we need to do is set up our um, graphics drivers. I'm using NVIDIA, so I'm going to be going through NVIDIA drivers. Um, if you use AMD, I'm sorry, I, I don't use AMD, so I can't help you there. You will have to look for other drives or other um, tutorials on getting that set up. Uh, I would highly suggest checking out ArcWiki because I'm sure they have a very easy guide for that. Anyway, so let's do. Inst we're going to install our NVIDIA drivers. sudo pacman s NVIDIA NVIDIA libgl lib32 NVIDIA. Oops, that's a dash. NVIDIA libgl. I have a whole list of this stuff just because I. I am installing the multi-lib stuff and I want to make sure that it installs that way I can run 32-bit applications okay and then lib32 Nvi NVIDIA utils that's the wrong password Okay, let's see. Checking this, looking for conflicts. Hit yes. Okay, install all this crapola. I'm gonna do what it needs. OpenCL support, that's good. Okay, so um that's all installed. Next thing we're going to do is um, 
I have I have a, a separate section for if you have a touchpad and you're using a laptop, but I'm on a desktop, so I'm not going to type it. Um, it is listed under the NVIDIA settings. So we're going to skip that, and we're going to go to the next part, which is adding 3D support. So we're going to do sudo pacman s mesa. Yes. Okay, so that's done. We have Mesa installed. Now we're going to install X, which is our display manager. Uh, we're going to install it, we're going to test it, make sure it runs, and then once it runs, we're going to install GNOME Desktop and GDM. GDM is a login manager, Desktop is our user interface that we're going to be using for you know, the system. <laughs> um, that's the best way that I can possibly think of putting it right now. So we're going to do, this is quite a, quite a long uh, command, sudo pacman s xorg server xorg server utils xorg x in it xorg twm xorg x clock x term yes let that go through boom that's done Okay, now we need to install GNOME. Oh, actually, we're going to test X first with start X. Boom, yay, we have X, it's working, hooray. Now that we know that works, we're going to hit exit, type exit in the first box here, right here. That'll drop you back down to command prompt. Okay, now we're going to install GNOME, sudo pacman s gnome. Gnome extra default default numbers one for lib x264. Don't need 10 bit. Proceed with that. Holy guacamole, let it go through there. Drink some of my drink. Wait, then we wait, then we wait, then we wait, wait, wait. Still going. Still going. We have four hundred and fifty nine packages. We're at 300. We're almost there. Do 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 do. Do be do be do. Do be do be do. Do do do. All right, that's done. Now we gotta enable, or we gotta um, install GDM. Now GNOME is the full desktop interface that we use. Um, there's also, like I said, there's other ones. There's KDE, there's uh, XFCE, lots of them. We use GNOME. So in order to be able to log into GNOME, we need what's called a desktop manager. There's matching ones for those. GDM, GNOME Desktop Manager. KDM, KDE Desktop Manager, Lightdm. That's what Ubuntu uses. 
we're going to use GDM if it works. Um, last time I tried it, it was having some problems, and I had to switch to LightDM. But let's try GDM for now. So um, sudo pacman s gdm. Let it install. sudo pacman s. Oh, actually, we got to enable it. In sudo enable gdm dot service. Really. System CTL enabled GDM service. All right. That sounds annoying. Okay, now we're gonna do um, sudo pacman s gnome tweak tool because we need that. It's just something that you always have to default install. Well, install by default. Okay, and now we're gonna also add the um, gnome software, which is it's a it's basically like a user interface for the package manners manager for all of the user repository stuff. So like say there's a program that you want that's new and you find it on the user repositories. You can open up GNOME software and it'll be able to pull it for you and install it rather than you having to type in a command. So and that since it's on user repositories and it's not on the official repositories, so we need to use Yaourts, which is Y A O U R T which works the exact same as Pac-Man does. And then we're going to do gnome, I think it's s gnome software. Uh, whoops. Type that as root. Apparently I used the wrong password. Oh, it's asking for my password. Yes, okay. There we go. I had to get the right password. All right, let's try and boot this up. Pseudo reboot. Now, the last time I tried this, there was an issue where I had to unplug one of my monitors and then restart it and then plug it back in. And it was fine after that, didn't have any more issues. So we'll see if it does it again. Okay, um, it's looking like a blank, blank screen over here, but on this monitor right here, I can log in. So I'm gonna click here. And uh, I'm sorry, you can't see it right now, but here. Um, let's see if this works. Right there, that's the login. So you just type in your password there. And my room is a disaster right now, so sorry for the mess in advance. I've been working all week and haven't been in my room much. Uh, let's see, we're going to type in our password, which was now, will it crash is the question. Yes, yes, it did. See this? This is this is the issue that I've had with GNOME for a little while. See that? That's a crash. Now we're going to fix that. If you get this and it happens, Usually it's because you have dual monitors. So I'm gonna have to actually go down here and unplug one of my monitors. So there's my main monitor. That's the one that, that's the crash I was trying to show you guys. Let's go ahead and hit log out. Okay, now that we have one monitor plugged in, let's try this again. Um, boom, boom, boom. Boom, right there. Done. Okay, so now that it's initialized, we're going to plug the other monitor back in.
All right, there we go. We plug the other monitor back in. We got picture here. We got picture there. Good to go. Um, okay, yeah, that's uh, that's all working. Let's type something here. Terminal. There we go. We have Arc Linux installed. We got a GNOME desktop set up. Let's get our audio set up because I use uh, I have a separate audio. Um, well, I have multiple sound cards. I have a you know a high end sound card. And then I have the the um, monitor or the uh, motherboard's default sound. So we're gonna change this. And I need to use I believe this one. Nope, not that one. Uh, this one. I don't remember. Oh, hold on. Let's turn it on first. I need to turn it on. Come on. There you go. Let's see if that works. Test. Front. Left. There's our audio. Okay. That's done. And now we're going to reboot and make sure these all this stuff saves. So let's go over here. We'll properly power off and restart. Okay, there we go. We got it. We booted up. Um, I'm gonna have to obviously adjust my um, my monitors so that my main one is showing on here and not on there. But as you can see, my monitor, both of them are showing up properly. My desktop is over here this time, which you know I can I can change that. But that's good to go. Um, our sound is also all working now, and it did save. Now we can go over here open the options and uh, whoops test speakers make sure that the correct one saved front left there you go okay so all of our settings saved we're good we have a desktop we can we can begin to play with Arc Linux so um, yeah that's the last video for this um, that's the last thing that I can think of right now. I'll do some other tutorials about installing different things, you know, getting games set up with Wine, um, you know, getting different browser things set up, compiling certain things, getting maybe Nginx set up, uh, you know, having a, a web server, all that kinds of fun stuff. So we'll do that in some other videos, but as far as this goes, we've got Lark, Arc Linux installed set up. My lengthy extensive guide is linked at the bottom it will also be on my blog I'm sorry if it looks like a big ugly text file I'm going to format it as soon as I get some more time so um, if, you, if it helped you guys at all if this series of videos you know helped you just go ahead and subscribe um, and leave me a comment please don't be a jerk I love you <laughs> no I'm kidding alright so um yeah that's it